Sadistic Penguin Studios presents It's, it's getting, getting Drafty in Here. Drafty old farm. The show of drafting random nonsense. I choose business ethics. And now, coming to you from his basement, a.k.a. Draft Headquarters, your host and draft master, Magnificent Stan. Hello, welcome to episode 51 of It's Getting Drafty in Here. I am your host, Magnificent Stan. Today is Tuesday, August 20th. Oh, fuck, I forgot my anniversary. Ooh, that's not good. I'm just I'm just kidding. Uh, today is my anniversary, but I, I'm just making that joke. All right. <laughs> and uh, today's topic, I that, that didn't work out. Um, today's topic, we're going to be discussing and drafting uh, foods from TV and movies. This is a topic that okay, yeah, Brandy, Brandy, Mister Q, I think, but uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> the marriage is over. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's just over. She's just she's a, packing her she's packing her shit as I'm doing the show. It's okay. Car, oh um, a lot of your drivers. This is actually <laughs> this is uh this is a topic that Mailman Jack came up with, and we just kind of ran with it. Um, I think uh, him and I him and I have thrown like 37 different <laughs> ideas at each other over this one, but. Um, so yeah, today, uh, today we're doing TV and movie foods. Um, joining me, obviously, Mailman Jack. How you doing, buddy? All right. How are you? Hey, happy anniversary. Fantastic. Thank you. Also <laughs> joining us, YouTube and YouTube and Twitter, uh, foodie, uh, extraordinaire, our guy Fitz Magic. What's going on, buddy? Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. How are you feeling? Uh, a little better than I was 24 hours ago. So I'm going to push through this. Okay. Right on. Well, You're yeah. a trooper. Nothing, nothing better than uh, have stomach issues and then talk about food. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We should talk and about then, things you um, crave while you're sick. That's another one. Yeah. <laughs> nothing. Water. <laughs> <laughs> also joining us, uh, Alexis is back with us today. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. She's got her cat with her. So we'll, yeah. see, we'll see some cats. I'll, She's I'll around. Try to get, I'll, I'll try to pick up Huckleberry, but he's 90 pounds. So I don't think I could do that. Ooh. Yeah, I'll be rough. Happy anniversary to you and Brandy. Okay. Mostly Thank Brandy. But... Yeah, yeah, mostly. Right, right. <laughs> next year's the big one. That'll be 20 next year. So oh, they're, that's they're cute. all big, Brian. So what draft are we doing that day? <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Brandy, what are we drafting on my on the 20th? Movie right, outfit. Um, best movie outfit. <laughs> best movie outfit. There we go. All right, let's get started. Alexis, you won the you won the lottery. I did. Let's get moving. Um, this is going to be my one, one. We are going to go with a Krabby Patty from the Krusty oh. Krab. All right. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that is you Krabby Patty. Um, Krabby is spelled with a K. Hey, right. You are missing an E in SpongeBob. I know. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's got to be. It's got to be right. You know what the worst part is? I never learned to read. No, I'm kidding. Um, I was more of a Ren and Stimpy guy than a SpongeBob, so I'll let you talk about it. <laughs> oh, the Krabby Patty. I mean, SpongeBob makes his whole life making them, and Plankton nearly kills himself 18,000 times trying to find this recipe for the Krabby Patty and the secret formula. Um, it looks like a traditional burger, It looks, but with crab meat in it. Um, and it just is something that you grow up when you watch SpongeBob, you're always like, I want a Krabby Patty, but where the heck are you going to get one? Obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to choose a Krabby Patty and I'm going to try one day to get my hands on one. Mr. Krabs, <laughs> that recipe under lock and key, man. Uh, lock and key, that cheap it's... bastard won't give it up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Plankton wants it so bad. LinkedIn wants it so bad he goes through everything that he can to get that recipe, but that secret formula is locked in. Uh, Doesn't it get all soggy? They're cooking it underwater. I mean, it never looks soggy. It looks it, good. Oh, Everybody yeah, seems perfect. to really enjoy it. Right. <laughs> yeah, Krabby Patty is going to be my one one. It's a good so, one. Yeah, I, I I did find 
I did find a couple web uh, websites that had like rankings, and that was top two, three on most of them. So yeah, good, you, good. you know, you think of SpongeBob, you think Krabby Patty. I think like yeah, TV shows, cool. TV like foods, like Krabby Patty is definitely one of the things that it's like right there on the top. And I, it took like 30 years for them to announce that uh, SpongeBob's autistic. Want to hear about that? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, literally, they, they announced it last week. They're like, yeah, he's aut autistic. And they're like, well, why did you wait 30 years to mention that? And like, yeah. Oh. And like, did we need to know that? I don't know. No, like, we didn't. No, we absolutely he's didn't need to know SpongeBob. that. But... He's just we SpongeBob. Do, so. That explains so much, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what about I, Patrick? No, yeah, that's I yeah. Like it is a thing. They they, they somebody asked them at like a convention or something, and they're like they they said like yeah he has he has autism, and I like it was kind of a weird thing to mention, but yeah, uh, but, yeah. I, I mean, mean like I'm not, crazy. I mean, interesting. I, no. Huh. <laughs> okay. I would have never known that. I, I'm gonna clip the shit out of that sound, Jack. Every time someone <laughs> says something, I'm just gonna go, huh. Huh. <laughs> huh. I like it. Oh god. All right. Well, oh. SpongeBob number one. Let's right. uh let's go to number two. What do you got, Fitz? I'm gonna start with breakfast. Everybody has to have a good breakfast, and there's no better breakfast than Uncle Buck's <laughs> birthday pancakes for miles. I mean, who wouldn't want a pancake the size of a tractor tire? I mean, that's got to be it right there. I mean, he tried to get French to toast through the door, but he couldn't get it through the door. So. I want to see the toast. <laughs> he couldn't get it through the door. I'm sorry. He couldn't get it through the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made the pancakes, oh. and, then he beat, and then he beat the shit out of a clown. So he had a good day. Right. I mean, he had a pat of butter the size of a 1995 laptop. I mean, it was... <laughs> that was... Uh, excuse me Dang. John Candy could be in a lot of these <laughs> yeah he could yeah. it was hard to, to just limit you know <laughs> yeah John Candy at one point my camera is just going to fall over I kind of <laughs> hazardly set things up here <laughs> but uh, could be it could be worse you could lose your power like Gordo did and he's, he's like it looked like he was like walking through a <laughs> A, a rocking through a <laughs> river in the middle of the night or talking into my phone oh yeah i drank too much or ate too much it's because that's where my camera is <laughs> caitlin it, that's, a def that's a definite right off def my first couple picks yeah that's a that's a that's a definite we'll have we'll have a conversation about that for sure <laughs> it has raisins you like raisins <laughs> oh. okay <laughs> <laughs> all right jack do you want to uh do you want right. to keep moving here uh i am going to go <laughs> actually to something that was suggested to us by our good friend baloney and it it's freaking awesome <laughs> from the movie rounders uh we're gonna take teddy oreos? kb's oreos because if that's doesn't right. make want to eat it i don't even like oreos uh i shouldn't say i don't like it. i don't i don't crave oreos not one of my favorites um but yeah. that when he snaps that's it, wild i playing and he snaps i it. thought i knew you I, I, that, is, that is a that is a weird I, one jack i'm Thank going you. to take teddy teddy rounders teddy kgb's oreos Okay. As it's a one, it's a great pick. I, I was talking one. more more about your Oreo uh, comment there, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. gonna tell you guys how spoiled I was when I was a little kid. <laughs> um, I was traumatized at my first sleepover because it was probably the first time I ever ate a store bought cookie, and I came <laughs> home and told my mom, about it. <laughs> and she was like, "They served what?" <laughs> I'm like, uh, I think it was called Chips Ahoy. <laughs> She's like, oh my poor babe. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think she made like five dozen homemade cookies. <laughs> I get it, but <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Oreos are Oreos. I that was the first time I think I ever really ate a Starbucks cookie. <laughs> Cause hey, uh, I came from a big family. It was cheaper to make them. I yeah. was so. Spoiled, you know, I mean, 
it was just funny because like like i said and then i told her the horror of the, she made pancakes from a mix <laughs> it was so poor mother <laughs> wow you jack, jack i think this is more you were you were kind of spoiled oh, than uh no. ridiculously i, I wow. get it jack i don't i always Children. never had only store bought cookies I, in our house either oh yeah, interesting but i mean oreos are cool but you know <laughs> and, but mom's homemade cookies are a million times better oh, yeah. uh, yes uh Anyway, Teddy Cage, when he snaps that Oreo, you want? I was I was gonna take Uncle Buck's pancakes first, but let's. <laughs> wow! Or no, so he stole he stole your pick. Yeah. My pick. Nice. Hey, let's go. You know that's a good pick then when dudes yeah. dudes getting pissed, you know. Uh, yeah, it's only round uh, one. Uh, Teddy Cage, <laughs> that thought that Oreo, you want those, and I don't even like them. Like I said. <laughs> Oreos, I mean, I'll buy a box, but, you know, I'll guilt trip my wife into making some homemade if we eat them, but. Your wife makes homemade Oreos? No, cookies. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I was actually kind of, kind of impressed. This recipe. Yeah. No, I, you know what? You hang on to that woman, Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember your You move wherever she wants you to move. <laughs> this Oreo is so subpar. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Teddy KGB, it's rounders. Or yeah. good one. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go here. I I did I did warn the three of you that I have a um, a theme for tonight. You did. Um. So I am gonna go. My first pick. I'm going with <clears throat> Ray Liotta's brain <laughs> in the movie Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow so I, if, if you haven't seen that movie um I, I there's a scene with indiana jones though monkey brain. there's a uh. there's a there's a scene where we're starling which is uh julianne moore saves anthony hopkins life but she gets shot and he she passes out and he picks her up and he takes her home and she wakes up and she's all discombobulated and fucked up and she walks downstairs and her boss who's Ray Liotta is total piece of shit uh, is sitting there with like a, a sheet over his head and Anthony Hopkins is cooking while he's talking to her and she's sitting there and he's just, and Ray Liotta's just sitting there and he's all, he's, he's like very like, you could tell he, like, he's drugged out and he's just sitting there and then you take up the, he takes up the thing and there's his brain. So he's, he's cutting pieces of brain while he's awake. He's alive. He's cutting pieces of brain out and cooking it. And uh, at one point, he um, he feeds it to him. It's 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 awesome and it's fucking frightening at the same time. Now it gets even worse from there. So he gets away. Um, he gets away from the feds, and he as, and he goes on do. a yeah, and he's on a plane at the end, and he's sitting there, and he has a Tupperware with the brain in it, and there's a little kid. There's a little kid sitting next to him. And he's talking about how he's a very picky eater. And he goes, can I try some of that? And he's like, are you sure? And, he, and the kid's like, yeah. So, like, the movie ends with him literally feeding, like, a like a six-year-old child someone's brain. And it's, uh, <clears throat> it looks delicious. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> it's, it's See, that's why I was, a little wor I was a little worried about that pick for you, Fitz. But, you know, <laughs> I, know I'm I had white, to go with that one. Geez. So, <laughs> Okay. You know, I've had my buddy Kevin on a couple times, and each time he does like a really random, weird theme <laughs> for the show, and I, I figured I'd like I'd like to give it a shot. So, Don't really, it was brain. Yeah. I, I, you know, I had to take it because I was worried one of you guys was going to take it. I'm so. sure, right? <laughs> I, I was tremendously it was worried. Of fun. Right. And, so. Yeah. So there we go. Oh. <laughs> Brian, my graphic twice shot. If you I don't know about it. yours. <laughs> well, I got to cross that. Yep. I, was. I think I think she forgave me for the anniversary shit. So, you know. that's good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I got I got Missy's seal of approval. All right, my <laughs> second pick. So let's go to round two here. 
Um, now, can we also can we also get really excited because none of us have had uh, connection problems like we did yeah. last time? So, oh, I, I just ruined. Like, it. I gotta find some wood to knock on. Hang on. Yeah, I'm okay. like, oh, right. too soon, too soon. <clears throat> I think I just ruined it. Uh, I tried to. I'm done touching my phone. It falls over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So all right. now we're taking sub. Uh, what was it? Another. Anthony Hopkins body part you're gonna pick? That would be good. That would be good, but no, no, it's not. It's not that. Oh. It's not that intricate. It's not that. Uh, uh, it's, you know, it's a little, a little deeper. Um, speaking of de speaking of deep, uh, we'll talk about Deep Blue Sea real quick. Of course. So there's a scene oh. in Deep Blue Sea <laughs> where um, Samuel Jackson is trying to tell everybody that they're gonna make it out and they're everything's gonna be okay, and then. A shark jumps up and fucking eats him. <laughs> so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel. What? <laughs> that one tasty Samuel Jackson. <laughs> one of the funniest. It's literally it's one of the funniest scenes I've ever seen in movies. It's, He's, right. it's like a really like heartfelt like I, I've gone through hell in my life. And and we're gonna make it out of here, and everything's gonna be okay. And then you see the shark just jump out of the pool that's behind him, grab him, pull his ass in, and eat him. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I it looked he looked he looked you know scrumptious. I mean, it, it looked it really like I was like shit. I want to eat Samuel L. Jackson now. Okay, you said it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. That's so, an audio so that there should we go. get clipped. Huh. Huh. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm gonna clip the hell out of the the Hannibal part because because you I, just watching Alexis, she's like, what? The... <laughs> I'm explaining everything. Why do I've I never seen the movie. Oh. I'm like, what Where is happening? <laughs> oh my God. It's fucked. It's a really good movie. People people bash it because they replaced um, uh, Jodie Foster with Julianne Moore, but Hannibal is actually a pretty phenomenal movie. There's a or the 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 bad guy in it is creepy. His face got eaten, and he's like a he's like a billionaire, and he he trains these pigs to eat humans, and it's 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 pretty wild. It is good. It's a good it's movie. A good Those movie. pigs were yeah. good. They're both yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Pick the right. right pigs. <laughs> All right, Jack. What do you got? Oh, I got another Stop one. That. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, damn it. Uh, I like go for <laughs> ones I really like, or do I go for actually winning? You know, this. Um, all well, I'm going for winning, of course. We, we got to give uh, Yumper some credit for this because this is what got my wheels spinning about it. The time he was talking, they did that thing on Twister, and he was mm. just like, and they were eating that steak and eggs, and it really yeah. looked good. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> You know, Aunt Meg's steak and eggs, man. That, was, that did look good. Yeah. They do look good. You're right, man. You know, Steak always looks good on I movies. Feel it's going, and she's just dropping eggs and steak grease and stuff. And, that and then, Cam and then Cameron from uh, Ferris Bueller's like, uh, where do you get all this good meat? And she goes, <laughs> you see the cows out front? And he goes, no. And she goes. <laughs> <laughs> and so good. I, uh. Nevertheless, I'm going to take a different steak from the Matrix. Oh, a steak that didn't exist. Oh. It was only in Cypher's mind. But Wait, that so was you're not doing it? You're no, not like taking? Matrix. In the movie The Matrix, I okay. am taking the steak Look. that Cypher made the deal with Agent Smith. Jack, you got me back. Even though it was it steak, he knew it didn't exist, but it was juicy and delicious, and that was one. Delicious what does he say? He goes like, "Ignorance is bliss." Yeah. After nine years, because <laughs> I know this steak bliss. doesn't exist. But good line. You, you, yeah, you, you played a little game with us there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. and you took mine. Jeez, you oh, got you me back, Jack. Yeah. yeah, that was my next pick, man. Joey P. Oh, shit. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Get the picture of Uncle Buck's pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Trade your steak for pancakes. <laughs> now, take oh my gosh. liver from Silence of the Lambs. 
No, no. <laughs> oh, man. Joey Pan killed it. I mean, you know what? He was such a... Ugh. But he made that steak. That steak looked damn good. <laughs> yeah, oh, it did. It Even though it surprised. didn't really exist. Uh, I wanted that steak. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. There's videos on how to, like, uh, <laughs> mimic that and make it, you know... On really? YouTube. Oh yeah. Mm. Joey nope. Pan Joey Pants looks like such a is or, uh, is plays such a good piece of shit and everything. I love everything. It. Yeah, he's bad. Yep. And it's a great actor. Second Wachowski movie, correct? Yeah. They liked him. Uh yep. yeah. From uh there's all kinds of stakes on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon skates. Right. Jack just really wants a steak. <laughs> I'd love steak. Uh, Bra- you get the Brontosaurus burger from Flintstones. You put it on the side uh, of the. Yeah. Uh, Woody Woodpecker has Uh-oh. some delicious looking steaks. And <laughs> uh, I think I'm having here. connection problems now. Am I okay here, guys? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Good with me. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, Fitz, let's go here, bud. All right, well, since I got to change it up here, thanks, Jack. I'm going to go cartoon on us here. Simpsons, <laughs> old school Simpsons, the Krusty the Clown sandwich at Izzy's Deli. Oh. Ham, sausage, bacon with a smidge of mayo on white bread. It was the episode where um, Krusty and his dad reunite, you know, Jackie Mason. They reconcile. And they're they're, they're yep. trying to get them together at the deli. Like, what's a Krusty the Clown? And sausage bacon with a touch of mayo on white bread, you know. (laughs) Jackie Jackie Mason played his dad so well. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, you're talking, but there's. Are you breathing? But there's no talking. I got a bunch of foods from. uh, Emmy Davis Jr. The Candyman. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, my list has like nine Simpsons foods on it, so that wasn't one of them, though. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fitz bring does like up. Yeah. I uh so I have so every episode I do I have DM groups. We you, the four of us talk about food all the time still. Um <laughs> yeah. I have one for the Simpsons episode that I did and I mentioned to them that I'm doing food and they all went like just hitting me from all ends with foods from the Simpsons. So it was kind of funny. Yeah. Get added more conversation. So this was a sub on the list. The, the sub that he sub? that he wouldn't <laughs> that he wouldn't throw away that one <laughs> that yes. had to be a good sub. I mean, he was eating That's that thing, one. but it was like way past its prime. But he absolutely, get... <laughs> that was a great episode. It was uh, he's like a sleeping with it. Oh, <laughs> sub. Love it. All right, Alexis. Why don't we go with number round two? Uh, round two here. Ironically enough, my next pick is from The Simpsons oh. as well. Um, growing up, oh, huge fan okay. of a uh, pink donut from Dunkin' Donuts, and yeah. so playing Simpsons Hit and Run, I always wanted that donut from Lard Lad. I always yeah. wanted it with the sprinkles. Yeah. With the sprinkles, that was like my favorite donut one. as a kid, and it still is. And so I always wanted that. It always looks so good. So we I'm got one of those back. at Universal Studio. They, they do the Simpsons Land. Yeah, I think it lasted our family like. Two breakfasts, we just <laughs> bought one and just chowed on it for the next two days. How was it? Was it good? <laughs> it the first day it was good. It was, you know, fresh. It was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was everything you kind of imagined. And it was it. Yeah. yeah. Big it pink looks, donut. It was pretty it looks delicious. Yeah. It have looks delicious. Ever, uh I think uh have you ever been to Disney World on that uh Aerosmith roller coaster? Mm-mm. Yeah, a long point. time ago. Yeah, you went through the Simpsons donut. I think Disney like oh owed yeah, you're right. Money, because <laughs> we were always like, "Oh, is that the Simpsons donut?" And we're like, "Wait a second, we're in Disney World." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I guess they don't oh, own the copyright to a pink donut, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Just not. You guys, except for Brian, my my list is getting scratched off pretty good here. <laughs> yeah, except for Brian. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have any actors. 
to eat. I don't I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm just taking really good foods. <laughs> Hey, if your palates aren't refined enough, it's not my fucking fault, you know? I, that, yeah. I think Samuel Jackson would be tasty. I really yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> All right, Alexis, oh, no, Again, me. Yeah. Um, if we have any Office fans in here, I'm going to go with Kevin's chili that he yeah. spilled oh, all God. over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Kevin's famous chili. Yes. <laughs> That's a great one. That's a great, great one. Opinion. I didn't even think about that. Oh, uh, it yeah. It took me yeah. all night to make this chili. Yep. <laughs> the trick is, and he just spills it all it's over the floor. Everywhere. And he's trying <laughs> to, like, pick it up. Like <laughs> <laughs> A few years ago, I went to the, like, office exhibition that they had, and they had, like, a... um like a pot with fake chili pouring out of it. And I have a picture with it that I can send. I wanted to send it. I'll send it to you. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, I, yeah, that chili looked good. Looked like some good floor chili to me. I right? I mean, it, it still looked, there was still some like left in the pot. Yeah, right. I'm sure you could salvage. You could have salvaged you know, a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, whatever. Did, God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. It's fine. There's, 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 a, there's a layer of it that didn't touch the carpet. Yes. Come on, <laughs> just, Come on. just get a spoon and get it. Oh I'm yeah, in. I'm in. Yeah, no, I'm that, in. That... I car carpet chili is my favorite chili. So best chili. Do you, do you remember yeah, you put um, fucking onions on it? You're good. Oh, Creed would eat it. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, Creed would eat right it right off the floor. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, right off. Totally. Do you remember the um? That '70s show episode where they're uh, it, um, it's go to work with your parent day and they're at the school cafeteria. Uh huh. And, and uh, Stephen's mother, you know, she's a she's the lunch lady. She's the lunch lady. And she's making chili in the big garbage bucket. Yep. I never saw that. Brandy just yeah, brought up a good point too. The cheesecake from Friends that is on right. my list. Of not course. gonna lie, that's it's on not, my list. I'm not taking that. That, that was on my list. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. For yeah, <laughs> she's ruining. She's ruining the whole draft. <laughs> it's oh, her anniversary. She can do what she wants. <laughs> she's laughing up there. I hear. It. I hear her laughing. Oh, good. All right, Fitz. What do we got? Okay, I'm gonna go to um, Eddie Murphy, Nutty Professor, the big family dinner uh, with the fried chicken, the macaroni and cheese, oh, and the greens and the biscuits. Mashed potatoes. It's one of the funniest scenes to me. I have that kid in me, and just those kind of scenes just make me laugh, and they make me hungry at the same time. So I, you know, give me all the fried chicken, give me all the mashed potatoes, all the mac and cheese, and everything that comes with it. Damn, you man, Hercules, baby. Hercules. <laughs> 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 That's a great. Hercules. It's so fat. You got a whole meal out of that. Yeah. You know what's yeah, funny is I, I I like that movie, but like Eddie Murphy movies, it's like it's like down towards Pluto Nash land and not <laughs> not towards Trading Places land. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All in all, it's it's, I, uh, it's an okay movie, but that scene, I can turn it on and just laugh and you know. Yep. Laugh. Yeah. <laughs> So I can fabulous. Play, I can play like nine different characters at once. Yeah. Just a tremendous, <laughs> tremendous. You can. They have a yeah. fortune on on casting and Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> but the makeup bills are through the roof. <laughs> you're walking oh. over, but you're limping back. <laughs> Love it. I can oh, go man. all night. <laughs> all right. So, my turn. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah go I'm for it. Pick one that she's gonna vote for me and not her husband. Uh, we're gonna take an episode of Mash. Paul <laughs> got, got tired of eating. Uh, Is it the we want something else one <laughs> for two weeks straight, and he was craving Adam's ribs from Chicago of all places, and the whole episode is about them getting these ribs. Sent to Korea <laughs> from, yep. from such Ad a good episode. Dearborn Station and Colonel Blake met his wife at Dearborn Station. They had to make deals. 
And then, like, I think he orders, like, 40 pounds of ribs and, like, a gallon of sauce. <laughs> And, and then, like, and like, one of the one of the other soldiers is pissed because he didn't get any coleslaw. Right. <laughs> yeah. On the phone, it's such a good episode. Like, oh, I forgot to order the coleslaw. <laughs> but, and he made those ribs sound so good. And as someone that craves ribs regularly, um, regularly, <laughs> I, I even as a small, as a young lad, when I actually saw that show live. <laughs> Um, you wanted some ribs, so Adam's ribs mash. It's going cool. Hawkeye. I love that. Exactly what he wanted. And that's, it was that is such a good. That's one of my favorite episodes. It's so good. Oh, it's one of the best ones. Like they had to make the deal to get. They were losing. Like, okay, you'll get this for me. Okay, you can have ten pounds in a quarter. It, like, and I think it showed like the seedy underbelly of like requisitions of the military. Right. <laughs> like, it's so I fucked put... up. Like like everything has to be traded for each other. Every... Like, like oh, generators. And... It was like right, right. Uh, yeah, like, it right. took up the incubator oh, one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I tried to get us some uh, frozen turkey, but I wrote urgent on there, and we got a bunch of <laughs> athletic supporters or something. <laughs> that's a that's a great episode nash uh and yeah. Alexa, probably like i don't watch me tv I have <laughs> mash reminds me of my grandparents i've never <laughs> really watched it <laughs> but they it's, used to you know what my favorite <laughs> my favorite part about mash is they used like the same like 15 asian actors to play like 600 different characters well but that's what i mean like when it was filmed like they just didn't have you know they didn't have a lot of options so that like pat pat marita plays like five different dudes it's it's it was a farmer a lawyer right right he he goes from being like a like a like a uh like a general General. to being like (laughs) Like a guy, a guy like ho- like holding the rings of like a cow, like walking down the road. You're just like, what the fuck? Like, oh my god, it's 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 wild. It's wild, but it's one of those shows like you don't have to like watch it from the beginning or any like it, yeah. nothing really flows into each other. Like it's right. I feel like it, a lot of those older shows are like yeah. that because that's yeah. the kind of it wasn't made to like binge watch eighteen right. seasons in a weekend. You know. Right. <laughs> They wanted no, to do something a, simple. The writers didn't want to didn't want to like confuse everyone by like making everything tie together because uh, yeah. the new shows were going to get canceled because they started having these um, week to week storylines. You know what? They were coming right. to an end and didn't have any ideas left. You can only yeah. judge by how great Ellen Alda's hair is getting. Yeah, <laughs> and something that lasted, I think, like thirteen months. It lasted ten seasons on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my yeah, the war, yeah, the war lasted a year, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the show lasted ten, a decade. So funny. That's a good trade-off. Yeah, my parents had a watch party for the uh, series finale at our apartment in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. We're Frank. Still, I think it's still the most watched show ever. Did I think so. I think it is. Wasn't Frank from Fort Wayne? Frank was he? Frank Burns? Frank Burns from Fort Wayne. Brandy would know that. Brandy, <laughs> where's Frank Burns from? <laughs> I think it was in the. She'll respond. She'll respond in like thirty seconds. So. Fort Wayne, Jackson, idiot. Where's <laughs> Where's Frank Burns from? She's just laughing though. Henry Blank Blake's from <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, and then. I know, I know. Radar's from Atumwa. Yeah, and but I don't remember where Frank Burns was from. And Alexis is like, "What the fuck are we talking about?" <laughs> I was really hoping my face didn't show that. I'm just listening <laughs> intently because you guys but, seem to be really enjoying yourselves, and I'm just like, "Okay." Like, yeah. like, she's like putting notes on her phone. Call your grandparents. Oh uh, yeah, I'll let I'll let I I'll wish. let Brandy answer and then answer us in the chat. But let's let's keep moving here. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm going with with a delicacy now. Oh God! Right. What Something body part? Really, really scrumptious. So, you know, when I eat a lawyer, <laughs> I want him sitting on a toilet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the Bang. best way to present your meal. I mean, <laughs> sitting on a toilet. 
I mean, you got to eat the lawyer. I mean, it's just a fucking lawyer. Who cares? But sure. yes. So, so I'm gonna go with the blood sucking lawyer from Jurassic Park. You could have a coupon day. <laughs> <laughs> we could have a coupon. That guy's a, that guy's such a dick, man. Now, Brian, oh my God. Jurassic Park. He could have took that buffet. <laughs> no, you took the lawyer. A lawyer. <laughs> Brandy did responded. You, did, like, Fort the Jello Wayne. with the girl and the the spoon, yeah. Fort Wayne, it is. I was Fort right. Wayne, it is. Okay. Why, I you can't doubt Jack. Jack like, those well, things. there, there, you have it. Jack won the draft. He found he, the one he, person in the right. world that knows more about mash than you, Jack. <laughs> she, she, she's a mash person, definitely. Yeah. Um, even before, even before I met her, she had all the like the DVDs and everything before. Oh, God, you got yeah, a good though. So. I got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> good one. All right. So the so the the, the delicious lawyer. The delicious lawyer. <laughs> and for my final fine dining item, I should I should have wore I should have like wore like a like a major D coat or something, you know. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, John Voigt. John Voigt tastes really good, especially um. In the belly of a of an anaconda. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with John Voigt. Oh my god. Anaconda. <laughs> oh my god. I think I spelled anaconda wrong, but you know. I think no, you I spelled think. it right. Yeah, see? See? Public school, man. That's right. <laughs> anaconda. Sick. That movie is the biggest piece of shit ever, and John oh, Boyd's so accent bad. is so terrible. <laughs> Yumper, Yumper, and I have talked about it a million times. He mentions it on on at the show all the time that John Voigt's like Hispanic, like whatever type of accent he's trying yeah, that to was pull was off. Hispanic, it's real bad. But oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. So. It's all really good food. I mean, I'm I'm getting hungry just looking at my draft. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I have a glass of water. So my buddy, my buddy Kevin, uh, my buddy Kevin uh, said he was gonna come in the chat and mention something. I don't think he's gonna make it tonight. So he gave me an idea for a draft pick. Uh, he put he said that uh, Margot Robbie in uh, Wolf of Wall Street it was a good meal. So oh. that, that, it is a good meal. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All right, Jack. Let's oh, uh, yeah. let's let's go here, bud. All right. Uh, nice pick. Uh, 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 All right. Uh, I'm gonna take a, a beverage. Oh, made famous from a TV show on HBO. About these four lovely ladies that lived in New York. Oh, always wanted a cosmopolitan. So and good. Sex in the city, cosmopolitan, and I don't think it probably did the same for the cosmopolitan as Mad Men did for Manhattan. Oh my God! Definitely, cosmopolitan. Probably more, probably more so than the man than than the Mad Men. Probably, but like everybody was drinking. Co My family's still drinking those stupid Cosmopolitans. That's like uh, I love Cosmos. The, oh, I love them. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> They're all blue. Like the, you know, what's not to love? Yeah. That that would actually be what's a good fun? good. That would be a good draft. Is like drink like cocktails from movies would be a good one. Oh, that would be. I think I think I, we'd come up with a good. I might have stretched it a little on that one, but like my wife is like, uh, "How about a Cosmo from Sex?" And I'm like, "Oh hell yeah!" How That's about a good one? one. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember. I remember talking about like like a movie or a TV show creating like a, a a fad in terms of drinks. I remember like the two or three summers after the Big Lebowski came out, like everybody was drinking white Russians to the oh. point where like everybody were like everybody just after a while were like, I can't fucking drink that shit anymore. <laughs> like, oh. and you're basically dollars. drinking half off. and half. Like, it's yeah, so gross. White Russians are gross. It's absolutely disgusting. It's horrible. Yeah. But it was I, a fan. Everybody, everybody yeah. was drinking them for like a couple like of years. And you go to, yeah. 
You'd go to a party and there'd always be like two things a half and half on the counter. And you're like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, like, who's drinking white Russians? Right. Uh, my, my, my wife's aunt and uncle that literally lived across the highway from them when she grew up. That was like, the, and I was th their favorite drink. Yeah. And I'm thinking, Big Lebowski, really? And they're like, no, this is just their favorite drink. <laughs> it's had nothing like to do with it. <laughs> You, you're not that. supposed to drink that much cream. Like that's <laughs> like your stomach is not going to do well after a while of drinking those. And with alcohol, like it just doesn't yeah. sound appealing. Yeah. It's it's good the first time you drink it, and then after that, you're like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm out. You want another one? Yeah. There's oh. a scene in Sopranos where Adriana's dealing with IBS, and she tells Tony she's has stomach problems, so she's drinking a white Russian. And I'm like, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. No, no you're supposed to eat the white foods when you have stomach problems, rice and like what, fish, cream. Fish. Yeah, cr it's literal half and half. That's what it's a fucking yeah. white rush. You're like, oh. no, disgusting. No way. All right, Fitz, let's All go right. with your last one here, bud. Oh, uh, last one. I'm gonna go. Um, Chronicles of Narnia, Turkish Delight. Oh, you know, I was um, in second grade when I read that book and um, saw a really bad animated version of it in 1982. It was almost like film strip, but not film strip. And just we were watching it in class right before lunchtime, and they were eating the Turkish Delight. And I have never been so hungry in my life. And so <laughs> that hunger always just, it, 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 it just, um, I remember that feeling because <laughs> it was just this perfect mix of the right scene, the right description at the right time, right before lunch. And you could smell the cafeteria and the food and, and just, yes. So Turkish Delight from Chronicles of Narnia, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Wow. So did you pick a book? That's a that's a deep that's a deep cut, but that's a good one. I like that. That is a good one. Yeah, yeah. You know, not, not one I was expecting, you know what I mean? <laughs> no. For sure. But but definitely like it, that's not a knock when I say like I wasn't expecting it. it yeah. I mean, I don't think any of you were expecting me to pick Brain Voigt as a meal, so, you know. <laughs> no. But um yeah, good one. Well, there you yeah. go. That's that's my final answer. That's a good one. I like that. that is a good one. I do enjoy that as well. <laughs> All right. Alexis, you got the last one. I got the last one, and I've got to go with one of my favorite movies of all time, Goodfellas, best movie of all time. Um, the dinner scene where they're making um, where they're making dinner in jail. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Paul has, has the razor. <laughs> he has the razor, like yeah. So it liquefies in the pan. Don't put too many onions they're, in the sauce. They're cooking the steaks in like that disgusting frying pan. You can <laughs> smell the joint. Like you can feel awful. the smell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. When you watch that scene, like you you can smell the steak when they're cooking yes. it. You're like, oh, it's god awful smell you of that smell place. It. Oh, but... and bread or something doesn't. He... And the oh, bread. Yeah. They bring the fresh and bread. And yeah. Paulie's yeah. bitch, and he's like, "How many onions you put in there?" Yeah, don't put too many onions in the sauce. Don't put I mean, too many just, onions in the sauce. <laughs> it's a classic meal, and it's something that like you, I refer to when I'm cooking, like as a joke. Um, but yeah, no, that is gonna be that's my final pick is the prison dinner from Goodfellas. Very good. Thank you, Johnny, very much. <laughs> so good. I could have gone on for like eight yeah. more rounds by the way oh yeah I mean, we could have but yeah let's i mean we're, i assume we're gonna spend like a good 20 minutes on jump on dump lists here because yeah I mean, <laughs> like i literally have 30 fucking things here that we didn't pick so, so many yeah so um why don't we just start like alexis why don't you just start reading what you got and we'll, we'll just individually go one by one to to just read your list basically yeah, I have um, Carmela's lasagna with the sweet sausage and the layer of basil leaves from Sopranos <laughs> that Janice tries to pass off as her own. There's a lot um, of good food ones from the Sopranos. Oh, so but good. But no fucking ziti? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just having dinner at Vesuvio's would have been on there, too. 
the, uh, the rabbit that he shoots. Oh my god! And then he serves it up, and he's like, "Didn't yeah. I see this thing taking a piss in the park?" <laughs> <laughs> um, the blueberry muffin from the Tangiers and Casino with the yeah, good one. Muffin. That's on my list. Yeah, uh, Michael Scott's pretzel from Pretzel Day. Yeah. With- <laughs> Every single tapping. The, the only episode where Stanley and Michael are friends. Yes. <laughs> They're sitting next to each other. Um, I was a big Grease fan growing up. So the strawberry milkshake and burger from Grease. Um, the that's one that good. Rizzo throws all over Kanicki. That's always good. Um, How about a dog, dog sled delight and four spoons? <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, waffles from JJ's Diner from Parks and Rec. That great just one. Yep. Looks it always looks good, you know. Parent trap, Chessie's chili and cornbread, um, a burger from Good Burger, and then pizza and beer from Miss Congeniality, which is might be a little weird, a little oh, obscure. That's a good one. That's but a good one. Sandra Bullock yeah. comes in with this pizza, and I don't know why it just looks so good. Yeah, yeah. Like, it looks like oh, good well, crappy pizza. They were so, all those are those were my those were some of my some of my picks that I had on there and that's that's pretty much it. That's good. Stuff. good. Nice. Um, real quick before we go to Fitz, I'm gonna read Caitlin's list here, and then I also have two more lists. So I forgot I wanna I wanna present those real quick, and then we'll and then we'll go and then we'll go with dumb lists. Um, so Caitlin picked uh, the secret sauce from Good Burger, the three course dinner gum from Willy Wonka. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, Sans the malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> the Reptar Bar from Rugrats. Yeah, Sans yeah. Function. Uh Pizza from the Ninja Turtles. Yep. Uh, Peaches from Holes. That's a great one. Yep. Everything That Falls from the Sky and Kazam. So, good list. Those yeah. are all good ones. I'm going to yes. go our guy, Sean, who's who's in the chat tonight. I'm going to show that real quick. Um, you know what? Let me get rid of the banner. Oh, psych. Yeah. So, Quattro Queso Dos Fritos from... Uh, that sounded so Chicago when I said that just now. From Psych, uh, Cra- Krabby Patty. There you go. Duck Cake from Bluey. The Giant Sunday from Home Alone. Good Burger, Good Sauce. We just went over that. I, I was surprised none of you guys took the old 96er. That's <laughs> we a good could one. do one on John Candy alone. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right, but right. This, I, I, I get that, but the steak in Matrix looks better. That one had gristle. Yeah. That didn't gristle. And the gross guy from the kitchen slops it. The guy's like, <laughs> oh, there's ten. He's, of- he's like, he's like rubbing his beard. Like, what's <laughs> all right. I also got a list from Shankster. Sardines from the Burbs. Salmon from Trading Places definitely on my list. Pie from Stand oh, yeah. By Me definitely on my list. Uh, Census Taker's liver from Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> he knew, he knew about my uh my plan for tonight. So that I'm sure that's why he put that in there. So that's, that's hilarious. A- but all right, all right, uh, Fitz. You know, at, about a year ago, I would have put a Mystic Pizza on here because I always it, that movie. I just again pizza. It just appealed to me. But then my wife was out there last summer and actually went to the restaurant, and it just kind of didn't look the same. Just kind of looked like your average ordinary pizza. So Mystic Pizza was off the list for this one. Um, Big Kahuna Burger. It's um, on my list. Yep. You know, yeah. Um, Godfather. I want uh, the uh, meatballs that um, the Paulie's uh, making. Yeah, and you know, where he's trying to teach. Uh, or Clemenza's making. Clemenza's it. Clemenza's making them. Yeah, yeah. He's making them, teaching them how to cook for a big meal. You, know, you know, big party sometime. Uh, Flaming Mo, going with drinks. Yep. And Joey's Thanksgiving sandwich, and friends. Yes. Oh. You know, I make those every year myself, so <laughs> I got to go with that. So, okay. yeah. you ate my Good sandwich. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? So I, I I watched it when it aired, my friends, and I liked it a lot. Um, yeah. and Brand, but Brandy never watched it until a few years ago, and now she like just psychotically loves it. So oh, I love friends. Yeah. I just thought that was oh, thought that friends. was interesting. It doesn't it doesn't hold up that well. <laughs> it doesn't. It's very it's yeah. very like very of the time in terms of like yeah. style and and just you know yeah. the, the 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 playing off each vibe. other is yeah. yeah it's it's also kind of like some of the things they say are like inappropriate. <laughs> if you watch it again, you're like oh yeah, you can't say that <laughs> shit now, you know. 
Sex in the City is the same way, though. I re- I watched it again, and I was like, e. <laughs> that, you know, that, you know Ma- yeah. Mash is kind of like that. I mean, but that's oh, yeah. that they, they kind of get a pass because that show's forty five years old. You know. Well, yeah, um, you just said they use the same twelve Asian guys. To play <laughs> the DJ, so I'm sure it didn't last very long. Hey, no, oh, man, Tony Paco's hot dogs, Clingers uh, from from Toledo. That would have been a good one. That would have been a good one for sure. Yeah. I've actually eaten there. It's very good. Very good. <laughs> Love it. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I, can I go? <laughs> now I, yes, I'm sir. Gonna, about pizzas, like you said, Fitz. But I was going to All pizzas I'm, and steaks on Jack's list. I'm I was going to take something else from Mystic Pizza. I want the refrigerator from julia roberts house that's full of lobsters that she said yeah, there you go nothing but lobster i remember that yeah but uh that was on my list the refrigerator from uh, okay. julie anyway uh pizza saturday night fever yeah yeah that's a good one that big ass slice and he stops for a slice hey Tony, what do you want two or three uh just two and then he's <laughs> the bgs is playing and he stacked them he really made that New York pizza look good. <laughs> um, now, I'll just play that right, while Jack's talking. Do the right thing. That the pizza, a yeah, spot the pizza place to go to to Sal's and get a healthy hip, uh, a hip portion of racism, but you're still going <laughs> back. <laughs> that had to be some really good freaking pizza. <laughs> That place was always packed, and Sal yeah. is. A, oh, excuse me, he's a jerk. He's a but jag off, yeah. Always packed, so Sal <laughs> had to be good. Had so, to be. You're gonna had go to be in the best. And did like crap, and called names and thrown out for the rest for a week and crap and whatever and had to be good pizza. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, anyone see the movie? It's complicated. With uh, no. Meryl Streep, Alec Baldwin, Steve Martin. I My have. Name. I don't remember it at all. I don't remember it enough. Oh, well, Meryl Streep and uh, Steve Martin make, they show them make a chocolate croissant. <laughs> They're both high as a kite when they make it, but it's very <laughs> sexy. And then they make the croissant and it looks so damn good. I, I, they have chocolate croissant and it's complicated. Mm. I want. I uh, I learned I learned a Meryl Streep fact recently. I didn't know she dated for like years and years and years and years the guy who played Fredo in The Godfather. Yeah, they they didn't, they were, um, for ye- for a long time, and then he got sick. Yeah. And well, they had broken up, and then he got sick and passed away. But that's because he smoked like eight packs of cigarettes a day. So. Jesus. Well, yeah. that do it to you. They, they were in that the was, hunter together, in, right? Yeah. He was yeah. he was in three of the best movies ever made, and then he yeah. died. So, his <laughs> Godfather one, Godfather two, and then and then uh, the deer, hunter. deer hunter, and then he died. I'm uh, smart. Wow, I'm smart. I can handle things. <laughs> He's gonna uh, drop in a gun. Brian, you get <laughs> all the sign salt foods. Yeah, <laughs> the peaches. There's a million of them. The There's peaches. a million of them. The Mackinac peaches. <laughs> It's like a B12 shot. It moved. Uh, no, that was the mango. <laughs> oh, that was the mango. That's right. That was right. Uh, the you, you could even do oval. You could do oval team. Oval the jar team. is round. The mug is round. George's, they call round team. George's <laughs> sex sandwich. The the pastrami on rye. Yeah. With the little mustard. <laughs> well, he's and then the big the big hunk of cheese. <laughs> Remember the big hunk of cheese? Yes. Kenny Rogers roasters. That's it. Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> the the Drake's coffee cake. There's so there's yeah. a million. We could have literally done a Seinfeld food draft. Like you could have done a Seinfeld. That would yeah, just enjoy, have, include you guys. I would I would I would Muffin watch. Well, he's a judge. <laughs> if if I didn't involve if I didn't involve Aloha Mr. Hand and Nick Morowski in a Seinfeld another Seinfeld draft, <laughs> they'd kill me. So I have to, I'd have to involve them. Muffin tops. Get it. <laughs> Top of the well, muffin. You could just have me in <laughs> Just have me in for fun, and I'll just pick something ran. I'll just pick all the random stuff that you guys don't. The paella, the paella, and the marble rye. 
<laughs> the black and white cookie. Me this Why? But the black and white cookie. I know that one. Yeah. Uh, Can yeah. I get a black and white cookie? Peace. <laughs> uh, hey, how about the uh, Twin Peaks? A damn good cup of coffee from Agent Agent Cooper. I always wanted just the pie, and the cherry pie, but uh, just that coffee from Twin Peaks. I've been oh, fighting watching that again because I haven't watched it in so long. I I need to I need to I need to go back to, go back to it again because it was so delightfully weird. Watch Blue Velvet, Heineken, <laughs> Pep's Blue Ribbon. <laughs> That is Hopper's a gem, man. Oh gosh! All right, that's that's pretty much except for the chili willy pancakes. I, I was <laughs> chili willy really. pancakes. Yes, I remember that. Chili All willy. right, Brian, what do you got? I have a very extensive list. So oh, God. My first one. I'm well, going. The human body Sh has so many parts, you know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, well, I, I also, yeah, I, I mean, I had a couple, I had a, a couple of Jaws ones on my list as well for in terms of like what people ate, but we'll just, we'll keep those off the table. Um, Ali Sheedy's sandwich from the Breakfast Club. Yeah, where she yeah. she, she takes she takes corn plate. pops and the and the pixie sticks and or, or no, I think yeah, oh, was it Captain Crunch? Yeah, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. I don't know what it sticks. was. Um, big salad from Seinfeld, obviously. Uh, the meatball, the 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 spaghetti and meatballs from Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. Um, whatever Meg Ryan was having and when, uh, when, when Harry met Sally, <laughs> which apparently is a turkey sandwich. I, I, I looked that up. Love it. Um, the chocolate cake from Matilda. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the doctor, Dr. Pepper from Forrest Gump. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta pay. Uh, <laughs> obviously cannolis from the Godfather. Yeah. Uh, the duck from Christmas story. <laughs> Where he cuts the head off, you know. Chinese turkey, um, right? Chinese turkey. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, the pie from Stand by Me. Oh gosh, uh, yeah. the pie eating contest. Uh, tater tots from Napoleon Dynamite. Yes, pocket tots. <laughs> pocket tots. If uh, if I had done this draft straight, um, I would have picked the salmon that was in Dan Aykroyd's beard in Trading Places. <laughs> yep. Uh, Twinkies from Zombieland. Yeah. yeah. Snowball. Were, were you about to say something, Jack? No. Okay. Uh, what else do I have? Hard, hard, hard boiled eggs from uh, Cool Hand Luke. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> really? That made you want a hard boiled? Egg? No, no. But you know, um, baby Ru the baby Ruth and Goonies sl yeah. with sloth. Yeah. Eddie Shack. <laughs> Right. Um, tell, tell the chef this tastes like dog food. Dog food. <laughs> um, hey, let's talk about real quick. James Bond knows how, doesn't know how to make a decent martini. Yeah. Chicken and stirred. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. The raw eggs from Rocky. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the sandwich from Back to School. Yeah, the hors d'oeuvre sandwich. It's just like putting all the. <laughs> Crap in it. Yeah. That's, that's that's oh my god. I hate tiny food. <laughs> and then like uh, he starts it out. You ever see all those stupid those like videos on TikTok and whatever with people just making gross stuff and they're like, I learned how to do this and whatever. And he says that I learned how to I learned this in France. <laughs> they oh stole gosh. it from back to school. <laughs> they stole it from back to school. Uh, a couple more. Okay. Uh, sloppy Joe's from Billy Madison. Yes. Extra sloppy. <laughs> uh, this would have been one of my picks, just like uh, just like the salmon. I would have picked uh, the candy spaghetti from Elf. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, that didn't look too bad. A few Simpsons ones. I had, moon remember when Homer made the moon waffles? Yes. When he doesn't go to church. Um, <laughs> steamed hams. <laughs> the gummy Venus de Milo. Oh yeah, gummy Venus. <laughs> when he goes to the football game with Ned, and he buy and he buys the nacho hat. The nacho, yes. And then finally, the club uh, kalash, the the like weird meat on a stick in New, in New York. York. Yeah, in New York. <laughs> and I'm gonna get gross with my last one. Uh, the hot dog from Bachelor Party. Oh god. 
Holy. <laughs> Lexus. Um, should I explain it? No, I don't think I okay. it. It's not a hot dog. It's actually a, uh, uh, yeah. 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 They're at, they're at, they're at Chippendale and the, the guy puts it in the hot dog bun and the woman tries to grab it and he's just standing there and he, she keeps trying to grab it. It's really funny. <laughs> So that's all I got. <laughs> you, oh Alexis, God. that's a movie you should watch. It's so wildly inappropriate yeah. and awesome. It's Bachelor Party. It's, yeah, yeah Tom it's, Tom, Hanks. it's it's a Tom Hanks movie. It's from oh, the like early '80s movie. when Tom yeah. Hanks made like really risque stuff. Tom like Hanks. Pre, it was like pre like pre Burbs Tom Hanks. Oh my God! All right, I'll have to watch it. Yes. But, uh, Probably uh, my cat's wow. just destroying everything. All right. When Fitz said Eddie Murphy, I thought he was taking one off of my list. The House Burger from uh from what is Eddie Murphy Raw when he was talking about oh. Donald? <laughs> Mom made him a burger. Yeah, he made him. <laughs> I want that one. The one that he was making fun, get made fun of. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, Fred Flintstone Bronel Burger. I was thinking of. Um, yeah, I know smash burgers are the thing right now, but sometimes I want you know, like just a one pound of meat, just something heavy, the, you know. Just give me all the all the meat, all the burger, you know. Forget what these smashed patties with onions crunched in them. Yeah. <laughs> smash burger thing. Going back to the the big giant. One. Yeah. Give me at least a half a pound of meat on that bun if I'm going. That's on. what I had for dinner tonight. Yeah. Big ass burger. So, Always but all right, good. this has been a hell of a draft again. Let's uh, let's get another food one going another time soon. Sounds good. Thank yeah, you I'm guys for all stop. being on. Fit Fitz, did you have anything you wanted to plug? Oh, just I don't know if I'm gonna have a review this week. I'm coming out two days, but oh, <laughs> oh, you got one. <laughs> I do. Do I? <laughs> no, I'm not. Doing that. <laughs> don't don't go to any restaurants around any amusement parks, people. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. I won't it name it, but this the is what they serve. Park. <laughs> oh, poor Fitz. Yeah. Well, at least it well, wasn't your daughter did something your daughter served you. No, it wasn't. You know, it, it definitely wasn't anything homemade <laughs> in any of the homes well, that I visit. So. I I think I think when you're having digestive issues, the best thing to do is eat some of Ray Liotta's brain. Yeah, so. I, you know, it, <laughs> maybe some I liver and onions. You know. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. All right, Alexis, Fitz, Jack, thank you guys so much for being on. As always, uh, it's a pleasure to have you guys. Oh, this is um, a, so fun! Blast. Thank yeah, you, so Jack. And, uh, when you come up with another crazy idea, we'll get another one going. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I talk to Yumper, I'll probably get another idea. There you go. Um, right. He inspired this one big time. That uh, and yep. that over I had where I made steak and eggs to help myself out of it. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, all right. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll be back next week. Drafty pod. I'm going to try to get back on the weekly schedule. Um, next week, we're going to have Caitlin Reeves on as well as Jackie. Uh, we're going to do, it'll be um, kind of hard to describe things that your your basically things that your parents told you when you were a kid that wasn't true or things that you were told when you were a kid that wasn't true. So um, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a bit of a, a disclaimer so that uh, children don't listen. Cause there'll probably be some um, Santa Claus content. So, um, what about Santa? Um, uh, Alexis, are, are you, are you sitting down? Uh, <laughs> so, and then I'm actually, there's going to be two next week. Next Sunday, I'm going to have Dougie fresh from the bums as well as uh, grateful ducks uh, host. Uh, Bruhan Luke on, and we're going to draft uh, mascots. So that'll be a fun one, too. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I know that uh, Tony and Yumper are doing another episode of At the Show this weekend. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and thank you guys all again for being on, and uh, and we'll see you again soon. Have a great night. Thanks a lot.
Thanks, Brian. Thanks. Bye. See ya.